Hello and welcome, Xbox fans, to Esports Everything, the show where any video game out there can be an esport as long as you add some cool narration to it. Today we are watching GA Track of Trust 3000 take on Informe in the Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants Seal Play events. It consists of five matches, and if you lose three, you're out. You get rewards based on how many matches you win and how you win them, but no matter what happens, the cards you pull from the battle pack will be added to your trunk. The, the Informate Robot has just finished his move, leaving g Tracker Tron 3000 to ponder his first turn. And he starts by summoning Zubaba Knight. He must have thought that he could use Zubaba Knight to destroy the face down monster in front of him, but he fails to realize that that effect only works on face up defense position monsters. Still, he goes on to play Pot of Greed and draws two cards. He decides to place one trap card face down for later. And what a fine trap card it is. He just realized he could spell summon the tricky by tossing one card from his hand. So he proceeds to use Zubaba Knight to attack the face down monster only to realize it's Dandelion, which means Informate can special summon two fluff tokens in its place. And GH Tracker Trap 3000 wastes no time destroying one of the fluff tokens. It is now Informate's second turn, which is the third turn in the total turn counter. Sheeran and the Mage has been summoned to the field, and for some reason he's attacking the Tricky, but Tricky has higher attack points. What could Informate have up his sleeve? That is what I am wondering, that is what the fans are wondering, and that is what GHR3000 is pondering right now. After skipping all prompts to activate his trap card, Informate decides to activate Shrink, which cuts the Tricky's attack points in half until the end of the turn. JHR2000 says no to the prompt to respond to it, and what a good thing, because now he can activate Rising Energy. This allows him to discard one card to give his monster a 1500 attack point boost, which means the Tricky has just enough to bounce back and destroy the monster that attacked him. It is now JHR2000's turn again, and the card he just threw could be very helpful in a situation where he's being attacked. So he decides to summon Gyroid so that when he gets attacked, Gyroid can have a one-time protection from destruction as a result of battle. He then proceeds to use Gyroid to destroy the second fluff token, leaving Zubominite and the Tricky to attack Informate directly for a combined 3600 direct damage. Smooth move, Rakotron. Informate's next turn begins, and he special summons Cyber Dragon because he can, and normal summons Steamroid. Steamroid's effect allows him to gain 500 attack points while attacking the opponent's monster. So he thinks that attacking the Tricky should come off without a hitch. But little did he know that Geochargatron 3000 had one trap card face down that could turn that battle around. Prideful Roar. He pays life points equal to the difference between attack power, leaving Tricky with a 300 point upper hand. However, Zubama Knight is still left to the fate of destruction by the hands of the Cyber Dragon. But it does not matter now because GH Hydrotron 3000 just drew the card that could turn the whole field on its head. He decides to flip his monster to defense position and sets a Cyber Jar face down in defense position. Cyber Jar is actually forbidden under regular tournament play, but since he drew this card during the Battle Pack event, this is allowed. Cyber Jar destroys all monsters on both players' side of the field. Next, both players get to excavate the top five cards from their deck. Of those cards, any monsters revealed among them that are level four and below can be special summoned to the field in face up attack or face down defense position. All other cards return to the owner's hand. He decides to summon Machine Lord Doctor in attack mode and Dark Resonator face down in defense mode. All the other cards are added to Informate's hand. And now it's GH Rigatron 3000's turn to excavate his top five cards from his deck. He reveals two level four monsters, two spell cards, and one level eight monster. Of these, he can only summon the two level four monsters, Ape Fighter and Slate Warrior. He decides to summon both of them in attack mode. A lot of people would play Slate Warrior face down defense due to the flip effect, 
But since Cyberjar has given him Book of Moon, he has the ability to flip him face down on his next turn, and thus flip summon him again to activate the flip effect. J Trigger Tron 3000's turn has begun, and he's at that point where a lot of people don't usually stop to think he is out of the prompts. Okay, he just got rid of him. I'm so sorry for being slow. I'm just not used to this format yet. This is a new show. He has activated Book of Moon to flip Slate Warrior face down, and he's flipping him back up to activate Slate Warrior's flip effect, giving him an additional 500 attack and defense points. Since he does not wish to tribute his monsters at this time, he decides to normal summon Ancient Gear Knight. Ancient Gear Knight, as you know, is a Gemini monster, which means he is a normal monster first, but you can choose to give up one of your normal summons for that turn if you have any, to turn him into an effect monster. And then he goes on to play Pod Duality. He is revealed Hedge Guard, Strike Slash, and Enemy Controller. He has to pick one to add to his hand. After some deliberation, he decided on Strike Slash, and he, which he decides to place face down for another turn. He uses Slate Warrior to attack the Tricky. The attack goes through. Ape Fire chooses to attack the Machine Doctor. The attack goes through. And Ape Fire's effect activates whenever he destroys the monster in battle against 300 attack. Oh, but he forgot Dark Resonator was there and he has the one-time protection from destruction just like Gyroy did. The opponent has summoned Fiend Sanctuary's Metal Fiend Token and has decided to tribute both of his monsters to summon Jurak Titano. And he's decided to equip it with Malevolent Nuzzler, giving him an additional 700 attack point boost. Ancient Gear Knight is destroyed, and he never managed to use its effects. Oh, thy humanity. At this point, GH Tracker Tron 3000 is searching through the opponent's graveyard. There is a good reason he decided to do this. The card he just drew is Autonomous Action Unit. It is an equipped spell that can allow the owner to pay 1500 life points to special summon one monster from the opponent's graveyard and equip it with that card. After paying his dues, he takes one final glance at his opponent's graveyard to carefully decide which monster he chooses to summon. After some heavy thinking, he has decided on Hyper Ancient Shark Megalodon. It has 2,900 attack points. But even with Strike Slash face down, it is not enough to take down Jurak Titano. And none of his other monsters are strong enough either. So he's decided to wait for another turn before he can attack. But first he decided to put Ape Fighter in defense. Because if Ape Fighter does not attack, his increased attack goes back to normal. Why he didn't decide to put Slave Warrior in defense as well to protect his life points, I will never get. Seriously, that was a kind of messed up move. Luckily, when Slate Warriors destroy, the monster that destroyed it has its attack and defense lowered by 500. So I think GH, so I think GH Dragon Trophy 3000 may have had, may have found an opening, and I think he's planning to pounce on it. That he is. He is using Megalodon to attack Titano and playing Strike Slash for a 700 point boost, giving him just enough to win the battle. When Malevolent Nuzzler is destroyed, information decided to activate its effect paying 500 life points to put it on the top of the deck, which makes no sense considering he has no monsters to equip it to now. This duel is just about over, unless that face down card of Informates is something that can help him defend himself against the final blow, it seems like GHR Draft 3000 may be the winner of this duel. He flips a fire to attack position and goes in for the final blow. And it is successful! G.H. Dragon Tron 3000 has won his first match of Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants Sealed Play. We're gonna take a short break, we'll be right back for the second duel he takes on against another Informate. Don't miss it! 